Welcome back to the channel everyone, Crypto Takeover coming back with another Bitcoin analysis video for y'all this evening. We're going to be taking a look at the Bitcoin charts, see what might be happening here, are we at a topping out point, and then we're also going to be going over the Apple charts alongside with Digibyte and Litecoin. So we're going to be taking a look at a few different charts, go ahead and stick around and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you are brand new to this channel, we use the Market Cipher Indicator by CryptoFace alongside with the TI Sequential by Tone Bays and the Market God Buy and Sell Signal. So we're using a few paid for indicators on this channel. If you are interested in picking some of those indicators up, you can check the links in the description box below. Um, as of right now, folks, don't forget that CryptoFace is running his 50% off special. This is honestly a deal of a lifetime. Um, if you are looking to pick up the Market Cipher Indicator, I would highly recommend that y'all pick it up this week. He is only running the 50% off special this week. And then after this week, he's, uh, he's already said that he's not going to be running any specials anytime soon. So I would imagine that this is going to be your best opportunity to pick up this indicator package. Um, you get Market Cipher A, B, and S, R. It's the whole package that is included. <clears throat> But honestly, folks, um, like we use this uh, indicator on our channel every single day. It's our bread and butter on this channel as well. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that y'all pick up this indicator package. Use the affiliate affiliate link in the in the description box below, so that way y'all can help support the channel, and I would highly appreciate that. So don't forget, 50% off of Market Cipher if y'all are interested. Go ahead and go uh, check it out. But we're gonna be going over the charts here and uh, see what we can pull up from here. So uh, CryptoFace also has some tutorials on his website too once you purchase the indicator package. But if not, then you can come back over here and just watch how we use the indicator and then go from there. So Bitcoin on the daily chart here, we can kind of see that we it does look like we are putting in somewhat of some doji candles as of right now. Uh, maybe uh, kind of finding a little bit of a topping out pattern. But as we start to zoom out, let's see what's happening here as we start to zoom out. S zooming out just a tad bit, our VWAP is still headed down to the downside. Um, money flow is definitely probably going to keep us afloat here for the most part if we zoom back out on the 12 hour uh, we can see that our VWAP still just kind of riding sideways as of right now what I'm thinking is probably going to happen is more likely we're going to probably continue a sideways down um, sideways and down just a tad bit um, but then we'll probably have uh, maybe another rally from there. Um, you can see our, our three day is still looking pretty firm um, and good to the bullish side in the bullish momentum. Now we are coming into our Mercury retrograde, so I'd imagine some volatility to take place, uh, maybe a little bit of a, some sideways action to start off Mercury retrograde. Going all the way into November 3rd when the elections happen, um, we're gonna ha definitely see something happen uh, more likely you know, towards the end of this uh, purple box here that we have drawn out. <clears throat> But I also wanted to take a look at the dominance charts. So we're going to take a look at Bitcoin dominance and see, um, you know, where we can kind of see uh, our dominance headed off to. Uh, we did get a nice little push uh, with our dominance breaking our uh, green trend line here on our daily too as well. Um, we're cer cer uh, certainly seeing a EMA squeeze as of right now. Money flow moving back into Bitcoin dominance still as of right now in the daily time frame. Um, but we were still having a lot of sell pressure here on our two day and as well as our uh, three day chart too as well. Possibly indicating a red dot that's going to be happening um, sometime pretty soon there on that red on that three day. Uh, but our 12 hours still looking pretty firm. Uh, like we may want to have another nice little push here. So I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin also correlates to this too as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, altcoin market cap just to see if we are expecting maybe money to move back into the altcoin market cap too as well. So this is the excluding uh, total uh, crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin. Um, and this is basically just a chart that tells us whether or not that money wants to move into altcoins or if it's going to stay in Bitcoin. So <clears throat> on our daily, also maybe a little bit of a red dot here. So maybe just money coming out of the market, uh, just people taking profits after its nice little run up uh, with BTC moving to the upside. Also Ethereum, um, you know, in the DeFi projects, maybe making a little bit of a recovery statement too as well. Um, but, you know, our total coin market cap, excluding Bitcoin, is still, uh, you know, kind of rounding off just a tad bit. Um, so I would just be a little hesitant here. Uh, maybe some retracement in the markets, but maybe not much. Um, you know, possibly still money that wants to move into Bitcoin itself. 
And, uh, you know, our three-day chart here on the altcoins is still looking pretty good, too, as well, holding support above our 21 EMA um, for the most part, too, as well. Let's see here. If we go on into our daily, um, it definitely looks like the dominance wants to uh, try and move back up above our 21 EMA here on the three-day, too, as well. We'll have to see maybe getting a little bit of rejection as of right now, um, but things are looking, uh, for the most part, relatively nice. So let's go on into Apple, folks see what's going on here with apple apple just announced their iphone 12 uh, you know yesterday and we're gonna see how the charts kind of reacted to that if we go on into our four day chart here i mean our four hour chart <laughs> you can see here that we were definitely riding uh our purple trend lines to the top side here for the most part um, but money definitely looks like it's wanting to come out of this market. We are kind of having a little bit of a rounded money flow. So what we probably want to see here is maybe a, a little bit of a sell-off um, and then wait to buy back in whenever we turn red uh, in our four-hour uh, money flow too as well. Um, but if we start to zoom out just a tad bit, uh, you know, and going on into our daily too. We're finding some nice support here, uh, but if we are to break one of these trend lines, I would just be very hesitant of it. So you could probably draw a, an alert signal uh, on some of these trend lines here that you're seeing with our trend line indicator. And then maybe based off of that, if we break below that, that would probably be um, where the sell-off might take place. And it may be a good time to buy back in on these markets. So um, they did announce uh, some new speakers and different things of that nature too as well. Um, but, you know, I would say that it's still looking relatively bullish for the most part here, getting a buy signal on Market God on our two-day two here as well. And then if we go on into our three-day chart, let's see what's happening. Three-day chart, still things are looking pretty good. Uh, we did have a green dot here on our three-day chart too as well. And then our four-day chart is still giving us a, another green dot on Apple uh, for the most part. So... Um, kind of correlated to uh, that Bitcoin price action that we've been having too, uh, with Bitcoin also giving us higher green dots or uh, higher time frame green dots uh, as well with our, our four day and our, our five day too as well, giving us our, our nice green dots there um, for the most part. So uh, markets are still looking pretty bullish as of right now. Um, it doesn't look like anything's changed anytime soon. Uh, but folks, don't forget we have the Path to Cryptocurrency course. If you are brand new, uh, investor in cryptocurrency, I would highly recommend that you take a course for it so that way you can just learn a little bit about the ins and outs and how things work. Um, learn what exchanges you need to get signed up for. Um, reputable, reliable exchanges that I've been using for the past, uh, you know, three years being inside of the crypto space. <clears throat> and then also uh, learn a little bit more about some of the altcoins that uh, we like on this channel too as well and how to maybe make some passive income with some of those altcoins as well too. Um, but yeah, this is basically just a way how to get started and then all the way to uh, some altcoins and um, how to use those token assets to um, help leverage your accounts too as well. So highly recommend that y'all check out this course. There is a early bird special going on still right now. So definitely come over here, check it out. Um, you'll get access to our private uh, Discord server and our private category uh, specifically for the course people. And so that way you can come in there and chat. And then you can also stay up to date whenever we release new uh, content inside of our course, uh, you know, as well too. Um, then also, folks, we have our uh, Patreon page that is available if you want to come over here. Uh, I'll go ahead and X this out, go to our public page here. So that way we can make sure that everything stays safe. All right, cool. So we have our public, uh, our, we have our private trading group that is available. If you want to join that, it is our Patreon page. Um, now with this, you'll be able to get access to our private category on Discord as well too once you join. And uh, once you join here, just make sure that you give us your Discord username and then we can get you all set up and started in our trading group as well too. So we post private videos inside of our Patreon page and then also in our Discord page, we, uh, we post a different trade setups um, and also different altcoin setups too as well. Um, news articles that uh, push these markets one direction or the other. So if y'all are interested in uh, getting signed up for the trading group, uh, check out the Patreon page and uh, come over there and join us too as well. <clears throat> and folks, don't forget, we're on our way to 3,000 subs. So once we hit 3,000 subs, we're doing a altcoin giveaway, um, $100 in one of our favorite altcoins. 
And once you sign up here for the newsletter, you'll be automatically qualified for the giveaway. So link in the description box below um, if you want to sign up for that $100 giveaway in our favorite altcoins for the newsletter. Uh, so yeah, once you sign up for the newsletter, then you'll uh, be qualified for that giveaway. And at 3,000 subs, we'll, we will go ahead and do that giveaway too as well. So uh, we wanted to take a look at Digibyte. Let's go on into Digibyte here. Let's see if I can find it. We'll do Digibyte BTC. Uh, Digibyte BTC, let's see what's going on here. So definitely um, a little bit different than the other charts we've been looking at uh, for the most part as of right now. Uh, looking at even here on the daily, um, things, things are uh, definitely looking um, more of like a bearish momentum for the most part on Digibyte. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, our second touch or actually our third touch on this trend line here too as well, um, possibly indicating that we are going to break this trend line and continue down a little bit lower, um, coming to the end of this somewhat of a symmetrical triangle. And as we start to break below this, uh, you know, I'd be a little bit hesitant, um, but also maybe willing to scoop up a little bit more Digibyte um, if, the, if you are interested in this coin too as well, breaking in below our 21 EMA here, um, starting to see a little bit of a death cross here. Um, our two day <clears throat> is also breaking below our 21 EMA and then um, trying to maybe find support on our 100 EMA on the two day. Uh, but one thing to note here is that uh, our money flow is still kind of rounding off just a tad bit on our two day as well. Um, and then, you know, it, it definitely looks like we'll probably head, be headed down just a little bit more here with Digibyte, uh, and not here in the not too distant future as well too. We tried to break up above our, our trend line here and qu couldn't quite get above it. Um, we've had a few green triangles that, uh, you know, were kind of some fake outs to get us back up above this trend line. Um, but you know, this is definitely a trend line that's probably going to be there for a while and one that we could probably set an alert on to say if uh, Digibyte is to break above this trend line, then we'll probably continue higher. But as of right now, it looks like we are seeing some uh, rejection here on that trend line for the most part as well uh, as of right now. Uh, sell signal here on the three day. And then the four day also had given us a sell signal way back here when we got rejected at this trend line too as well. Uh, starting to see some red dots here on the four day and the five day. Um, definitely looking like Digibyte's got some um, downwards potential as of right now. So I would be, I'd be hesitant on this market, uh, you know, for the most part, but you can see here that our Harkonashis are giving us somewhat of an M pattern to stand out. And then our daily is definitely breaking below one of our, uh, major trend line supports on our daily. So, uh, I'd be a little skeptical, skeptical about, uh, you know, b being bullish on this, uh, Digibyte market, but definitely a, a good time to start scooping up maybe some Digibyte if you're interested in that coin too, as well. Um, and let's move on over into Litecoin. Uh, this was one of the other charts that we wanted to look at today. Uh, if we're looking at the daily here, uh, we did break below our trend line, uh, purple trend line here, uh, but we found a nice recovery on it too as well. And it looks like we did get back up above it, but now we're having a little bit of a red dot here on our daily. And we're gonna have to see how this wants to play out. You know, even since our Corona dump, uh, I, I feel like Litecoin's had a hard time um, recovering um, even from the corona dump as well too so it, it's it's uh it's going to take a little bit of time to prove itself our two days looking okay but also um, you know our VWAP is kind of rounded off here maybe indicating that we could possibly get a red dot um, but we'll have to see how this wants to play out um, we are breaking above one of our bullish trend lines uh, so that's uh, that's a nice indication but um, I, I would be uh, hesitant and, and maybe say $64 for Litecoin um, could be uh, another top for us as well too. But if we break above that $64 area um, where one of our trend lines is at, then um, I'm, I'm thinking that we'll probably continue up a little bit further past that $64 area. Um, let's see. And then if we go on over into our three day. Uh, so our three day is also getting a nice little buy signal here. You know, this is this is still looking like as we start to zoom out on Litecoin, it's starting to look a little bit like Bitcoin too as well. Um, you know, get, getting some higher time frame green dots and those definitely um, have a little bit more bullish potential to the upside too as well. So if we start to zoom out on our three day and our four day, um, our four day, ooh, breaking on a nice trend line here too on our four day as well. So this trend line takes us all the way back to Litecoin's all time high. <clears throat> you know, back here at $400, $400 or so. 
um, and the fact that we are breaking that trend line, um, this is actually looking um, relatively good for Bitcoin for the most part. So, or Litecoin uh, for the most part. So, if we are to push back up above here, um, you know, we're seeing, we're starting to see some of our, our trigger waves start to form here too as well, um, even on our five day. Also showing us that we're breaking through one of our trend lines here too, as well with our green triangle. So things are looking um, okay for Litecoin uh, right now too, as well. Uh, you know, these this uh, this trend line takes us all the way back to that, you know, uh, last all time high um, that we are breaking back up above again uh, once again. And then if we look at our six day, I would imagine we'll probably get another uh, green dot here on our six day too, as well. Um, but for the most part, the definitely a good time to probably anticipate maybe some movement with Litecoin uh, for the most part. <clears throat> I'm looking here at the money flow on the six day, and this is looking like more likely this is once we get our next push to the upside, all these bullish divergences here, um, Litecoin is going to be ready to take off for sure. <clears throat> so I would definitely keep a close eye on Litecoin. Um, but like I said, the $64 area is going to be, uh, what was it, on our two day? On our two-day uh, time frame, uh, we're going to be probably looking at the sixty-four dollar area as our as our next uh, resistance, and then from there we, we're going to try and probably break up past that sixty-four dollar area more than likely. Uh, so thanks, folks, for sticking around. This is a, a nice little video for y'all. Don't forget uh, we have the Patreon page. If y'all do want to join us in our trading group, I'll let you know what altcoins I'm getting into. I'll also let you know how we set up our charts here too as well. If y'all have any questions, just message me on Discord. Um, join our Telegram uh, room that is available to the public. If y'all want to vote on what altcoins we go over next, y'all can join us in our Telegram channel. Um, and then also the Discord server is available to the public, but obviously the private categories are only for paid members only, um, such as if you join our Patreon page or if you join the, uh, the Path to Cryptocurrency course. Um, and with that being said, folks, if y'all want to learn a little bit more about how to earn passive income in inside of the crypto space, um, some ways to get started are using the Brave browser, um, which is a reputable and reliable browser, but also you get paid in BAT token by clicking um, ads in the bottom right hand corner. Um, so use the link in the description box below um, to get signed up for Brave browser. And then also CryptoTab browser allows you to mine Bitcoin straight from your computer using the CryptoTab browser. So super easy um, and simple to get set up. Basically, all you do is download the browser, you sign in with your Google account, and then you can start mining Bitcoin off of each, um, wherever you have the crypto browser uh, installed, it, installed at. You can also install this browser on your phone and have your phone start mining BTC for you too as well. Um, it is going to use a little bit of resources to do this. Uh, so what I do is I have two other uh, computers that I don't really use anymore, um, just mining BTC for me and using the CryptoTab browser. Um, so I've already withdrawn, you know, several times um, to get BTC, but definitely a nice way to earn some passive crypto inside of this space. And then also, if y'all are interested in leverage trading, y'all can check out some of the links in the description box below that I have uh, for that too as well. But folks, don't forget, um, come over here and join us in our trading group page. Uh, there's about five spots left, or maybe only four now, um, four spots left for our 35% uh, off special. And once we fill up those spots, we'll be going back to full price, uh, which is the $60 a month. So definitely come over here, check it out, um, get informed, uh, learn about the different altcoins we're getting into, learn about how to set up your charts like I have mine, and a few other things and perks and rewards that you'll get are all listed down here. So thanks, folks. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This channel is growing relatively quickly, um, I believe, since you know the markets are kind of headed in an upwards trend right now, too, as well. Um, we're definitely going to be keeping uh, a close eye on here and, and, and starting to release uh, more videos um, on the daily. So share this video if uh, you want to share it with some friends, and I would highly appreciate that. CTO signing out. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.